Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. I'm your host David and technically what I just said was not completely true. I am David but I'm not in Southern Maryland. I'm in Northwest Pennsylvania. I'm at Cook State Forest and I'm going to try to do a little fishing. I just dropped my son off at Clarion University for his freshman semester and I've come to the area which is called the Forest Cathedral or what some friends of ours used to call the Green Cathedral. We used to bring our kids here so they could actually just play in the water underneath of the little falls and, and enjoy it during the summertime. Well I'm here with a fixed line and a small hooks to see if there's any micro fish that live in this little pool. Let's find out. Got a trout following it. Come on. I landed that right in front of him. There is a trout in here. Got it. It's still on there. I got a fish. He's still, he's still on there. I want to get my bucket ready so I can get a picture of him. Because I don't know what he is. He's still on there. He's still on there. Yes. I think it's a little brookie. Yeah, it's a little brook trout. Look how pretty you are. Go. All right, he's gone. Okay, so I've been here about an hour and I did catch that one small brook trout. Uh, that was on a size 14 hook with a small piece of floating trout worm on it uh, by power bait. Uh, I've seen another trout swimming around here, considerably bigger. I've thrown flies at it. I have thrown a fly that looks like a crawfish. Uh, I've thrown a floating trout worm at it. He just wasn't interested in biting. Uh, but I'll come back here at some point and see if I can do a little bit better. But now it's time to move on to another spot. So follow along with me. It's now about quarter of two in the afternoon. I'm still along the Clarion River just a little further down Gravel Lake Road at the where there's a little kayak lodge. I've come here to give it a try. I'm refreshed, I've eaten, I've cleaned myself up a little bit. Let's see what can happen. As I'm standing here in the water, there are some micro fish playing around at my feet and hitting me at my legs. Four pound test. I've got something. It's really been my best bite of the day. And it looks like it is a white sucker or a sucker of some sort. Maybe a fall fish. I don't know. But there he is. I got my bucket. I'm going to put him in there. I hear you. Listen to him. Oh. Yep, I caught him. We're gonna stick him in here. Put the top on so he doesn't jump out. Turn around this way, we get better light. There he is. Yeah, look at you. He's got the spots on his nose. He's got the spots on his head. I see you, buddy. Move away. There you go. Perfectly fine. Let's see if there's another over there. Mm. 
there was. There's another fish at least. There we go. We got the same thing. Another sucker. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, bud, but you're good. There's two suckers. I got a fish. I got a very small fish. And it's another sucker. I can't believe that. Down in that eddy right where it gets kind of calm. Don't twist around. I'm trying to get the hook out of your mouth, buddy. So I had a snag in the middle of the river and I tried to pull it free and my hook broke. So maybe that's a sign I need to go to another spot. Three suckers here at the gravel lick. And then we're gonna head back to the house for dinner. Come along. All right, it's day two. I'm still here in Clarion. I am standing ankle deep in the river. I'm where the people come and take out their kayaks and their canoes here at Cook Forest State Park. I figured I'd give it a try here for a little while today. Got one, got one, got one. Call it micro fishing. Let him go. I think he's another white sucker from like just like yesterday. We'll look it up when we get back to the place. He swims right off. I never touched him. Used the net, dropped him in here, took some pictures, never touched him. Got another. Bait's already out. All right, so I'm back. Uh, of course, for you, I really didn't leave. But either way, I'm, I'm, I'm back to fishing today. Uh, found another spot along Gravel Lake that I want to give a try. Um, it looks like I walk out a good distance into the river itself. So uh, we're going to give that a try and see what happens. Got a fish. I'm going to see if I can get it back so I can get a picture of it. Back to my bucket. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like it's a... A bass of some sort? I don't know. I don't know. He's kind of swimming towards my bucket for me, which is very nice. He's not very big. He might be a trout. There we go. Never touched him. Never touched him from hooked to end the bucket. Never touched him. That's pretty cool. There we go. We finally, we got a little sunfish, I think. Yeah, we do. Yep. 
little pumpkin seed. We'll let you go. There he is. He just swims right off. There's a fish. Come on, get out of there, out of there. Oh, what a gorgeous pumpkin seed. Look at that fish. Gosh, that's gorgeous. All right, it's day three in my uh, fishing adventure in Pennsylvania while my son is uh, getting ready uh, to start his freshman year. Uh, and I'm at Slippery Rock University. I've come here because my son's involved with the uh, ROTC program and they're going to be having a boot camp today. Um, and parents are invited to be able to watch for, you know, some of the, the things that they're gonna be doing. Come to find out, Slippery Rock has a lake or what they call a lake or at least a pond right here on the premises and there's fish in there so I just caught a little pumpkin seed actually I caught a very pretty pumpkin seed now I'm gonna see what else I can catch Pretty bluegill. Record now? Yeah, I'll bring it over to you so you can see it. Oh, it's a beautiful book trap. He left? Yes, sir. So it's Monday morning, behind the camera is my school. Today's the first day that teachers report back to school. Tried to keep summer from ending, it just went by too fast it seems. But I need to basically sum up what happened when I was in Pennsylvania. So I spent three days up there, had a great time, you know, seeing my son off to college. Um, I'm praying for him, hoping that he's going to do his best. Uh, today he had to report to the stadium for PT at, five, at 6 o'clock in the morning. So hopefully that's all taken care of and done. But for me, uh, you know, I'm going to miss him, but hopefully he's going to do well. When it comes to the fishing, I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed this one. The school year's starting up. Until next time, tight lines.